What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we'll be taking a look at Whiplash. So let's see what we've got going on. Let's check it out. Now tuning into the encounter culture. <laughs> As promised today, we'll be taking a look at Whiplash. Let's see what we've got going on. Continuing our Iron Man retro cards. Still love these cards. I am looking forward to what comes later on. <coughs> Dread Knight, <coughs> Mandarin. Uh, still liking what I'm seeing. Love what I've received so far. Uh, as I said previously, I, ha I am waiting on the Iron Man figures. I'm, I'm not uh, in need of any Iron Man figures at the moment, so play the waiting game on those but these other characters were the ones that i was super pumped about so whiplash another cool obscure character to add to the display we've got him here he's got a ponytail he's got his whip thing he's got his extra hands nice card flip it to the back there's your nice iron man logo there's your little diagram important information at the bottom and your blurb of course whiplash puts his skills as a weapons developer to criminal use taking his cybernetic whips to battle against iron man cool all right let's get him out of the box fresh out of the box i like the figure i like that we've got this character whiplash now in the marvel legends collection uh, not a whole lot going on here, but I think a good amount, right? You've got an extra set of hands, so I always love that. And you've got an accessory, so, and it, it is to the power, uh, uh, effect, right? So, like what I'm seeing here, just enough to get by, right? We've got some good color. The, the lavenders on the black look really nice. That green really stands out for the ponytail there. And that even has some wash in it, so that... Gives it that good low light to it. Decent looking figure. Let's uh, take a closer look. Moving in closer, we can get a good look at the face here. So this face sculpt, not going to be a real standout for Marvel Legends. Uh, we've been getting so many good face sculpts lately. That's not to say that this is a bad one. It's just it's mostly covered by a mask. So there's not really a lot of ways that it can truly stand out. So it's sufficient. It does the job. Uh, and, and I like it for what it is. Could use maybe an expressive face, but that's the argument, right? Do I want figures with just expressions? Do I want figures with just a sort of more stoic, uh, neutral face? I like a good mix. I also like options, right? So I'll continue to always say extra heads are the way to go. But I will uh, acknowledge that I need to temper my expectations when it comes to that type of thing with uh, this line. So let's move on. All right, ponytail plugs right into the back of the head, so there is a porthole there. As you can see, you do get some good wash on there, so it does give it a little bit more depth to uh, the hair there. Makes it stand out just that much more. You get the satchel. We've seen the satchel several times. Villains, they love their satchels. Well, and Gambit too. But, uh, yeah, look, this continues to be perfectly suitable for reuse. Uh, no need to create new satchels, right? So buckles are painted on, which is great. Love that. Basic black body for the most part. So not a whole lot going on, but you do get some great color to highlight and balance off of that black. So that looks good. Nice chain there too. Not a whole lot going on with the cape. It is uh, just a solid purplish color. So like the color of Barney over here. The whole thing is like the color of Barney. What's going on? All right. Uh, yeah, so not a whole lot to go on here, but uh, just a basic cape. Some people would probably prefer a cloth cape and totally understand that. This one, it is ported. No, it's not ported on. So uh, you can certainly remove this, and uh, that'll be nice and easy if you want to make that adjustment and switch it to a cloth cape. As far as your articulation goes, uh, the ponytail will rotate all the way around head will look down to there chin will touch the chest he will look up only to about there the collar does start to limit you uh, you can certainly move 
all the way around if you like. You get some rock side to side and no significant ugly gaps. Arms will rotate all the way. The cape doesn't get in the way as you might think it would. Uh, you are not on any sort of butterfly, so you are on a more simple shoulder. You do have your upper bicep cut and your double jointed pinless elbows. Forearm does not have a separate cut, and then you do have your hinge and swivel at the wrist. You are on your basic ab crunch and hip swivel, so you can move that just like you might need to. Not a whole lot of need for this to be super dynamic, although you would like to see them get away from that hip swivel. Leg will kick out to about there, back to about there, and out to about there. Upper thigh cut double jointed pinless at the knee cape doesn't get in the way too much you do have a calf cut at the boot there you can see right there and then your hinge and swivel at the ankle you do get your set of fists and then your open hands so that'll allow you to grab the whip accessory it does come with the one cybernetic whip looks a little dehydrated but uh, that's okay just a, a pretty decent accessory. I love translucent plastic whenever I can get it, so I'm all good. And it's very pliable as well. For your size comparison, here is Whiplash backed up against a couple of Iron Man figures. So you've got your 20th anniversary and the Iron Man that's on this same retro card. Just to give you an idea, they are roughly the same height. Whiplash just a, a smidge shorter than the Iron Man figures. Uh, so I think it'll fit in nicely. Personally, he's not going to go like on an Iron Man shelf for me. He's just going to go on a villain's shelf. Um, but to eat your own. And uh, a lot of people are probably going to have him on an Iron Man shelf. So just to give you an idea there. Looking pretty good with those Iron Man figures as well. All right, folks. Well, there you have it. There is your Whiplash figure from the Iron Man Retro Card Wave. Cool figure, I like it for what it is, another villain, a random character for the display. For me personally, that's something I look forward to with collecting. I know this isn't going to be a figure that is for everyone, and that's totally fine. That's what this collecting thing is all about, right? Find what you like, collect what you like, do what you want, and uh, have fun with it. Couple of things about the figure uh, with the whiplash, I do or with the whip, I do wish that uh, while it is a very pliable plastic, I, I think maybe on a bendy wire would be much cooler. So then you can manipulate it into whatever shape you would like. You're kind of stuck with exactly this right here. There are certainly things you can do to uh, to remedy that, but uh, having a bendy wire in there would be really cool, and I think would just give you so much more that you could do with that um color wise i think it's pretty on point i don't know that there's a whole lot that needs to be changed of course i always would love to have an extra head sculpt to mess around with depending on how i want to display it right but uh all in all i think it's pretty on par with uh the line and a decent figure so i'm happy to add it to the collection that's the two cents, folks. Do what you want with that information. Hopefully you got something out of this. I appreciate you for hanging out, checking out the video, and staying this long if you have. Of course, you can always find me on any of these socials down here. Most importantly, though, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe below. And until next time, take it easy.